He's very aloof, very self-contained, obviously completely fearless. He is extremely intelligent, perhaps more so than almost anyone else. He's obviously a man of immense power. I don't suppose that the question of moral values enter into his head. He's not immoral. He's amoral. Morality is a word that doesn't figure in his vocabulary at all. It's power, which is something that exists very much in our world today. Sir Christopher Lee's thoughts on his character Dooku Dooku was portrayed by Sir Christopher Lee in Star Wars, Episode 2 Attack of the Clones and Star Wars, Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Kyle Rowling portrayed Dooku during most of the character's lightsaber sequences, due to Lee's inability to enact these physical scenes because of his age. Rowling's head was digitally replaced with Lee's during post-production. Dooku's character underwent multiple development iterations during the creative process of Attack of the Clones. Artists Ian McCaig and Dermot Power experimented with various female Sith designs, including dark queens, robotic warriors, and vampiric witches as well as a shape-shifting alien concept that eventually evolved into Zam Wessel, until George Lucas eventually decided on the idea of a battle-scarred Jedi warrior who parted ways with the Jedi Order. The final designs of the character were intended to reflect the menacing atmosphere conveyed by Peter Cushing's portrayal of Grand Moff Wilhuff Tarkin in Star Wars, Episode 4 A New Hope. Christopher Lee reprised his role in the Star Wars, The Clone Wars film, while Corey Burton voiced Dooku in the subsequent TV series.